Hey guys, Marco here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes look into how I film the runway shows that this channel was actually founded on. And actually, you'd be surprised at the minimal gear that this requires. And so that's what we're gonna focus on today. Now, a lot of the gear that you're seeing here today is gonna to be a little bit more premium, but to be honest with you, you really don't need that. Quite frankly, you can actually rent a lot of this gear if you're interested in getting into this space. So we're gonna go over kind of my setup, also a couple of other things that I carry here on my case, and then we're gonna go over the details. Of course, guys, if you have any questions, please put them down below. I'm happy to help you guys any which way I can. So we're gonna start with the monster in the room and that is the camera of choice. And for this setup, what I like to do is a simple, uh, the 7200 f2.8, I happen to have the G Master version two. This is a great lens for video, it's lightweight, and also has an aperture ring, which really helps with exposure. Um, and then of course, I pair that with my favorite video camera, and that's the Sony FX3. This is a very compact, lightweight camera that's able to deliver quality product. A lot of the videos that you see in this channel, a lot of the runway, actually all of the runway shows that you see in my channel, a lot of the model videos that you see on the channel are filmed on this camera. Maybe not this lens, but it's definitely on this camera. The other thing I like to do is, of course, I like to put a V-mount battery, and then what I've done is I put a, um, a dummy battery into the camera, which basically makes it so that I can operate the entire day and not really have to worry about batteries. I do carry two of them. One of them is powering this camera at the moment, and then the other one's back here. This will give me about two hours, maybe three hours of runtime without having to turn the camera off, really not worry about anything at that point. So that's basically my setup for these runway videos. Again, the 7200, the FX3, and a power bank. Now I do have the camera mounted on a, on a little rig, and we can talk about that real quick. So the way this works for me is single quick release. I can quickly take the camera out, put the power out, and take this camera out and go agile if I need to. But for the most part, this camera will stay on this mount with a single quick release. It's actually, I keep it very tight so that it doesn't fall off. And then I put the battery back on and then I'm back in business. That's how easy it is. But the most important thing guys that I highly recommend you do before you go out and buy any gear, any camera is get yourself a really good tripod. This actually happens to be a Sure, Ciro or Sure. I'll put it down below, but this is actually the Sure SH25. It's actually a very, inexpensive um, tripod, video tripod with a good fluid head. It gets the job done. It's probably not the best. I'm sure there's much more out there that you can go out and then pick up. But for this kind of stuff where you're traveling back and forth, this, this case, this, um, this tripod actually goes in flights and just gets tossed around. So I think I, I paid maybe like $150 on a Black, sale, uh, Black Friday sale, uh, but these go on sale all the time. Surrey actually makes amazing video tripods. Make sure you check them out. They released a new collection of tripods. I just happen to have this one, and this one so far has been phenomenal. It's very lightweight, it gets the job done. So I'll put this and all of these products down below. You guys can check them out when you have some time. But for video, again, the most important part to me is the tripod. I've seen um, guys come out here that try with monopods. They try with very small, lightweight uh, tripods. And what ends up happening is the video just can't, gets a little jerky, especially with a monopod. You're just not gonna have that stability that you need with, these, with the shows and then tracking somebody on a runway moving back and forth. So I recommend you guys do spend a little bit of money on your tripod. Make sure it's a good video tripod with a good fluid head. Another thing that you're looking for is that it does have a handle. The handle is important because I'm, I'm doing all the zooming manually and then I'm grabbing this guy here and then being able to tilt, pan, move around. So this is basically it for video. Very lightweight run and gun. I'm recording internally. Another thing I don't do, which I don't, I've seen it here and I don't recommend it, is I don't recommend you guys put an external monitor like a Ninja 5 or any kind of external monitor. And the reason is because you still wanna be looking at the monitor on the camera. Because there's a lot of movement happening in the frame, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the focus is on point every time. And one of the things I do is as the models are coming in and out, this happens actually at the end of every show where all the models come out with the designer. I do tap to focus. So I'm tapping and focusing on each individual person as they're coming out. You can't do that on an external monitor. And that's why I just kind of keep this guy out. And then, you know, I just kind of work with it. Guys, it, you know, 
in these scenarios where you're actually, you know, there's probably going to be 30 guys, 30, 30 videographers, photographers in that pit, um, things get a little tight. So being able to have a small compact system that gets the job done, gives you quality. As you guys have seen the quality of the videos on this, on this channel, uh, is very important to me. So, um, travel lightweight, easy and great quality FX3 7,200 pa uh, battery pack and a good tripod. Guys, another thing that I want to quickly talk about is the case. I actually don't use backpacks. I don't recommend it. I want to make sure that my gear is protected, not just that, but it's waterproof and I can leave this case behind. I've talked about it in previous videos. There's a reason why I bought an orange case. The reason why is because I can put it down and I can see it from afar. That way, if I don't have to, you know, if I'm not in the area, if I happen to just step away, I can always keep an eye on my gear. But more importantly is the fact that we're out here waiting for a long time. So this guy, I can put it vertically and I can just quickly sit down and use it as a bench. Um, other things that I do carry in here, I mentioned I carry snacks. Um, almonds is just one of those things that you, you know, you, you got to eat something. It's just long hours, long day. You don't want to go hungry for the entire day. So pack some snacks, put them in the case. But uh, another thing that I also carry is water. Make sure you're carrying good hydration for the day. For the most part, you're going to be under the sun. Your gear might be under the sun. Uh, so, you know, it, it's going to start to affect you if you're not hydrated. Um, but that's it, guys, for, for this setup. It's actually very agile. That's the important thing. Make sure you're nimble. Make sure you're able to move. Make sure you got good battery power. And for me, my camera of, of choice is always going to be the FX3. That's all I got for you guys for this show. I'm going to get some stuff done. Uh, but of course, if you have any questions, please put them down below. Happy to help you guys. And until the next one, thanks again for subscribing. Thanks again for the comments, the shout outs, the support that you guys have given this channel. I couldn't help you. I couldn't thank you enough. Uh, and with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.